Lord ask me to explain to you how one could start again or how hardened hearts could soften like a child and Lord ask me how to reason out the mysteries of life or how to face its problems with a smile Go ask the man who's found a way through tangled road but how to stay away no communications were destroyed Go ask the child who's walking now who once was crippled then somehow her useless legs were made to jump for joy Go ask the one whose mind of mind has been restored I think you'll find the questions not important as before Don't ask me if it's good or bad I only know the guilt and the is gone And I can't tell you anymore Don't ask me how to prove to you why God is there and how I know that he would care for you and don't ask me how someone so great could choose to walk with me and tread my broken life for one that's me go ask the child Saturday after that Saturday which is the Saturday before this Saturday we talked about sweeping the ashes from the altar tonight we are going to talk about another interesting aspect which is going to be very short because it is not to all of us it's just a reminder, in a few minutes we'll pack our bags and go to our different homes. In the book of Matthew, chapter 17, from verse 1. 
from verses 15 through to verses 20. Matthew chapter 17, verses 15 through uh, to 20, the Bible says, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. Verse 16. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Verse 17. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. Verse 18. And Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast it out? Verse 20. Then Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I said to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. I'm going to pray and we shall read again. Father in heaven, we seek your face. We seek the sweetness in your voice through the passages of scripture that we have just read. Speak to me and throw me to someone in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. When you are waiting, you are going to go so much by your way, you are going to go so much. When you are going to go so much, you are going to go so much. Mais <laughs> Maybe to us, some man, God, or man, I don't know who is the Mochi to Gamma, you put it the moon, Mosaja, Nadin Yomochi, you are getting up for an hour with the Mochi. Kalidas Makom Gayechi, Angel. Let us read as we make sense. Lord, have mercy on my son. For he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. Verse 16. So I brought him to your disciples. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not. Cure him. I follow. Verse 70. Then Jesus answered and said, O faith, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? And how long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. Verse 18. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the child was cured. 
from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? Verse 20. So Jesus answered to them, Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. The narrative we have at our hands, I think it's a very clear narrative. The identities are well defined. A man comes to Jesus with a son who was not well. The name of his illness was epilepsy. But you see, disease is made in such a way that it has degrees. Ebogena mutwa liro musawo akukebera na kugama anti oina mali ya plus plus tugena ko episode sato cash down. Sio guli. Oluni bakana bakubemu bane. Ah, ebya machi pasima nyo twa chitegeza. So this man is explaining to Jesus the extent he's saying he has epilepsy and he suffers severely. How does he suffer severely? But there are times when it comes when we when it attacks him. He, he, he throws himself into, into fire. Chitake is a man on a yaina and simbu. It is a simbu. Yaina simbu. Gaina Rifena. Kuhanga over Murio. The queen of Kurikira, Ida, Obuja over Murichi, Murichinja, the Chuka Chuka Mukara. The father explains to Jesus that I have tried. I have taken him to your disciples. In simple terms, I knew and I thought that there was healing that comes from you. Prefect, which is the last alternative. Now, was a home what day? Now, for a mobile, now more pain in Kia, Zemawa, another in Guru, you send by you. Now, this kind of pain in Kia, the Majukua or Sika, or to get a corner of the other in Buji, Guru. But I pay in Kia, you might have been quiet. Prefena, never Jimua, Mondachika, Zari, and the Chicago area, that I know a woman. That pain in Kia, ladies and gentlemen, was the last resort to pay Mojego, of course, of Kusilisa, or Kutta. But that pain in Kia was the last resort to what? To pay in Gojasa. Yes. When we gave this pain to the old man, in about a few seconds, the old man did feel any pain. And we laughed for a moment. Five minutes later, 
Now preaching of the strongest baby kid. Mwana we shafangamba. Daudi. Sabaka tonda. Chitanga fe. Kubovuru bigwari. Puyitifu. Kubatule sito mnechi soboka. Chikanyi. This man goes to Jesus with a conscious understanding that he knows that he has a cover self. Kuwama wa interrogate wa te kuhu. Kwa gamba ki ane simbu arumwa eche kumerete. You can't make that statement on day one of sickness. To be fair now. Agezeza kama sawa baga baba ni mendo ni baga ni baba ni mendo. Atu seria wa ikiwa ba yes. Mwana mwenye nomu kumuono. Chizo mwenye chizo kula kutia. Kula. Ogumula ba. Mkuu ya kaidi. Aga amani mwenye na yeye na mitu. Mwanamume mwana na kula kutia. Story gamba. They could not. Katizi zetu yes. Kusimani, orang itu semakin sokjar ini. Wangi, semua orang itu semakin sokjar ini. Semua si kaza, oh. I don't know if your options are still viable options and realistic options. I think I was with Peter and Elia when we were watching Twenty Four some time back. And this guy, the presidential advisor, was giving a certain, a certain course of action. And, and, and the lady who was also in the same capacity says, you know, that is, you know what you're saying is not right. And the gentleman replied, yes, it is not right. It is not wrong either. It is just our only option. <laughs> so I don't know how many options you have to your situation. Sima ni kazi wakoroje? Zo si gaza. Sima ni Boze nkana. Leo na mina nuja kuhuzi sewe ichi kuhuzi echo. And the gentleman said, So I brought him. I'm bringing him to you now. Now Jesus looks and he says, Faithless generation. And perverse. After many, he calls for the boy and he commands the demon and the demon leaves the young man. Abaiki is on Evangia. One worry, and she must switch a fail. Yes. Why couldn't we drive? the demons from the child. Why? Why could we not cast it out? You're not cautious. Never Atuba na amanya ya kenja ulu. Kuwamu umano mtu nga wwe simu. Tulifena. Haizo kule mkwata. Mbubu nga wwe kana wodi.
And I don't know why. But there's a thing about this disease. I don't know why. But there's a thing about this disease. Kuya in a right state of your mind. It is a kind of disease whereby if you're in its spell, you tend to do things that you cannot even explain. Where is intermediaries, and the last solution was Jesus himself. I imagine on such a one, Yawano who beat into the cross because yes, we are very and over and over and to achieve bunch. Now you are one and I'm to Kako, my last resort, a Yoru Meruno or Mufaya Gesta Vajitia, Gaiti Takasa, and Simuza becoming a Zuma Manavan. And Simuza becoming. Why don't you wait You don't have control of what you're doing. Let me take it here. When opportunities present themselves for you to move from one point to another, please, Kuranga situation in Mori, Tekuganya, it has incapacitated you to the point that you cannot even understand salvation when it knocks your door. I will see Musa Feza Wav. Now, Yes, why could we not cast it out? And Jesus answers, because of your unbelief. But there's something I want to draw your attention to at this point. It was not because of the unbelief of the child. It was not because of the unbelief of the child's father. It was because of the unbelief of the disciples to whom the Father sought a solution. Are you certain about the state of your of mind of those to whom you go for help? Are you certain? The state of mind, are you certain of the state of mind of those people to whom you go for help? When you're looking for answers to life's puzzling questions, are 
are you sure about the kind of people you're going to ask? Could it be that you might be in a better position than those you're putting your allegiance to? Ochimani njo hizo kuba na kuhi neti tanga ala Nogena na we musa kuwe chizikiza Na mula kanti wa isefa okuwe na muzikiza The problem of this man, he went to the people who needed the same thing he needed. <laughs> I told us here that you need to practice the principle of less association, reassociation, and deassociation. Oh, in our land, we know we could do that. Oh, that again, you could get the power of Musa. We are more money. We are equal. I'm so very sorry. Oh, man, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to because I'm almost up in one or two option three periods, right? As of three periods, a second, I'm going to kill us. Is our body or a prayer time? I'm going to kill us. Is our body one to then almost all I know. I'm discussing who discussing you know, history of black chemistry. How does chemistry and history relate? <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not told in the end of a syllabus. The best you can do is discuss only for chemistry. Yes, yes, because of your unbelief. Yes, you are passing a verdict. 
If you had faith as a grain of the mustard seed, you will tell this mountain move and it will move. The issue we have in our lives is not that we don't have faith, I mean, that, that we don't have the ability to overcome our challenges or our situations. We have the ability to. But the problem is we don't believe that we can overcome our, our, our challenges. Watch it again there. Oh, who's your Katulina? Sikuwanga, he just saw her. Kutuki is Savior. He just saw her Kutuki is Savior. Oh, who's your Katulina? The Tuma, the Tuma, the Jesus is telling his disciples, you have the ability, and I'll explain why they have the ability. To, 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 you, you have the ability to cast out the demons. The only challenge you have is you did not believe that you could. Now this is the problem of any belief. Every time you 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 are you you don't believe, you are unsure. When you're unsure, you're not confident. And every time you're not confident, you even fail when you should, you could not have failed. Okay. They say, That's Let me tell you, there is nothing as dangerous as a motivated opponent. There is nothing as powerful and dangerous as a motivated opponent. A motivated opponent. A motivated opponent. The only trick you use, you are a motivated opponent. That person can't stand a chance. Okay, come on. Now you only go out here. You are over there. It's a simple English. Yes. No one says English. You will fail. Why? You're not confident. And there's a thing about confidence. With the ladies. <laughs> so, gentlemen, the problem of unbelief is that it, 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 it becomes it becomes a stumbling block, it becomes a hindrance. To you that you cannot reach to where you wanted to reach. But what is 
Nze kuku misinde nze Mbwesa nwa kubanga na hobi pia Nze nagamba nga sora kubu kachisawi Ujeto urola Nga mba siso urola Nisa ujende mo kweto urola Na hiyo mpio mpilo kubanga ni moto Na hiyo nisa kuku misinde ajeni wangu Nze nga ngambo mbizo kuku kila mpisawi Ngeenda kuchi Kurukudo Nisa wakwa na ura chichi Chisa Now Orumu nengah mereka ni nazaru kecik sah. Kuma mereka duka angan itu, ngah kau orang dekun nak kuat. Mereka nazaru kecik sah. Orang nazaru kecik orang ni, mereka kusen kecik orang. Eh, cewa mafun akan. Ini kan ngah, tuh tuh hidup mereka jadi nazaru mereka jadi korang juzi juzi nipsa jamu kuru maaf aku. Ini nak kau nak kasomiru, kau ngah bapa sah. Mereka tuh tuh kem, tuh tuh orang itu, yang tuh anda kan. Mereka tuh kuli ya. Kiri cik sah, sura aku duka cici, cik sah. Ini ngah bapa nak kau orang dia, ngah kau nak orang dekat kui. Cuma fena, ni ni orang yang ni orang dia. Kaka ni mirundi yetu, kumi, kwa kwa kumi nchi, nenda uchanga kula, sindo kwa kwa mirundi yetu nchisa, zenda. It is like in marathons. Do you know that your legs get tired in the first kilometer? Kasta ni kambi la zana, no kiri zanchi, sija kusomba kwa yangu, kwa hizi akora watia. You cannot go beyond that point. But when you say to you, when you believe in your mind that I have the ability to take the kilometer and take a second and take a five before you know it, you are going to be Ladies and gentlemen, there's something I want, I want us to put in our mind tonight as I wind up this. There is a problem in unbelief. The state of mind called faith is very important in your Christian work. Because it helps you overcome 99.9 .9 of the challenges you face every day. So oftentimes the difference between you and that person that you think is better than you is that they believe you don't. There is a power in believing. The Bible says you only need faith as a grain of the mustard seed. Now, before I talk about more of the mustard seed, let me draw our attention to something. The issue Jesus is saying is not how big is your faith, but it is where your faith is placed. <laughs> That is the basis of your faith. The faith that moves mountains. Oromo is a woman who kills a man who kills a witch. The charm. You do not fear anything. You know why? Because he who is in you has overcome anything. Physically. Watch. Aiza, nzizo kugamba, mugana wanga kuliliza. Nki Yesu, bine yamba ibuli singero. Bitufu, ainawe. 
I've come to invite you to believe that you can because of He who is in you. When He says a grain of a mustard seed, it was a proverbial meaning of something of the smallest quantity. When he's talking about mountains, he's talking about something that is that was conceived and perceived to be very hard to move because it is very hard to move a mountain, known knowing the fact of how a mountain is formulated. Nehelia Gamba with the least amount of faith in the right direction, you can move anything. No matter how big, how tall, how old, you can overcome. We are going to a movie, isn't it? We have swept the altar. But I'm going to do it again. You know that we don't pull out because we are going to miss all to meet obstacles on the way. And every time we meet obstacles in the way, I've come to tell you tonight that He who you're walking with is saying you can. If you can only believe that the smallest magnitude, as a mustard seed, which you've never seen. I want to give you a chance to see. Make sure everyone has the master the seed. Make sure everyone open and give out. Yahweh, we have a day. So I said, you have to go. What would you say to our way now? But you don't have to know you have to know for you. See, see, me. Faith. Faith takes away from you fear. You face every challenge and obstacle without fear. You attack it with reckless abandon. Come what may. Because our Jesus Christ, when he came on Kufirida, Singa yadamu kwe kwa ta kwa ta Lucifer yadamu kwa za mtu kwe kwa There is a thing about faith that is very important Oulamu wabuli mwangu tia tebu wangula Do you know why people drown and die? Please, oh, you know why? Let me tell you. Or move Fear creeps Your lost for ideas. Now, I don't say The more energy you use, the more you, you go down. The more energy you use, the more you go down. Because of one reason, fear. See, hey, relax. Because 
I want to tell you, conceive in your mind that you walk with God on a daily basis. Conceive in your mind that you move with Jesus every single day. Conceive in your mind that God is in a partnership with you. Conceive in your mind and in your thought that you are in a merger with God. I've come to tell you tonight, know him in whom you believe. You only need a grain of a mustard seed to change your situation. So as we move with our swept altars, there's something else we need to add to the equation. We call it faith. Move. Move in faith. Because when you move in faith, the Lord of our faith will lead you to the places only those with faith can get to. May God bless you. Amen.